Gang, it is what it is, and it's not what it's not. Like it or not, you could die on the spot. Bang, bang, bow. Yeah. So, we've been having some connection problems. That's not how you say the word. That's how I like to say it. Sue me. At the end of the day, Hold up. Watch. If I say something stupid, I bet you won't kill a bug. Look, man. I think what it is, I think the problem is that um, I keep on trying to add people. I think it's, uh, you know, because the white man, I'm just fine. But as long as I don't, there you go. All right, now I need my other co-host to come in instead of me. Because when I, that's what, see, that's what Facebook be doing too, man. Facebook is horrible, man. Facebook is, Facebook is just, ugh. Hold on, I'm going I'm to text my other cousin real quick. Real players. I'm waiting on Dewan. I just texted him. Okay. But um, I don't even know what time it is, so he might just ran out of patience, which is fine. It's nine o'clock his time. <laughs> it's nine o'clock his time. Oh, this man. <laughs> he can come through. Sure, but you know he, but he, you know he like, you know he like thirty five, so he got the old man, you know, he got the old man bone, so he probably did. He probably. Well, that's gonna be me. That's gonna be me in a couple months though. So I ain't trying to be thirty five. Get some milk and go to sleep, G. <laughs> Shoot. Did you drink heated milk? What the fuck? What's the what's the uh? What's the benefit of the health benefits to that? Nah, man. Yeah, for sure. Oh, but, man. Um, damn, man. That would have been a cool little surprise for the people, man, because they like that. Hey, shit, next week is lit. For sure. I'm probably going to get some shrooms or something, and we could just do a shroom cast. I don't know. Damn, it's been a minute since I did some shrooms. I, yeah, it's no reason for me to be doing shrooms. It's probably gonna be like Labor Day. It's gonna be some some excuse. But at the end of the day, uh, oh, I kind of wanted the one to touch on this, uh, King yeah. D. So what I was saying, yes, there is people that are uh, in alignment with the same organization that that nip uh aligned with so no no shot at them and no offense to any of the 60s or anything like that but at the end of the day nip used to hang out with a uh an og named cowboy right and he claimed that he was there when nip uh had that conversation with the guy who allegedly um Executed uh, Nipsey Hussle. Now, I really don't have to say allegedly because he got found guilty, but I'm going to say allegedly for sake of spiritual purposes. So the whole thing about this was he took the stand, which he said out his mouth. He said that he took the stand to tell people that the guy who killed Nip and uh, Nip did not have a, a, a confrontational conversation they didn't get into any arguments nobody was called a bitch ass nigga nobody it wasn't a violent type of occurrence he was just saying that you know he said i heard that somebody named shitty cuz you know snitched right but there's two three people in the rolling 60s from that exact neighborhood um that's named shitty cuz 
So we don't know which shitty cuz it is. So go home, get the paperwork, let me know that you didn't snitch, clear your name before I do a song with you. Now, this dude, Eric Holder, which his street name was Shitty Cuz, was already previously signed with Nipsey Hussle, same label. They've done music together, but Eric Holder actually went to prison before Nipsey Hussle got famous. He took the stand to say that Shitty Cuz and Nip did not have any violent words, and he didn't see any reason why he um, shot him later. What do you think about that? But jealousy. That's people. People want to say it's probably just jealousy, like because Nipsey get, because you know, like you said, they from the same neighborhood. They work together, the same label and everything, right? So, so, so you got you see the man. He shining. He he got the he got the little model movie wife. He got the handsome kids, handsome step children from Lil Wayne too. <laughs> Cause Lil Wayne, you know, he signed, he signed a little child support payment. You know what I'm saying? So, so you see this man spending, you see Nipsey spending Lil Wayne's, what Lil Wayne's money, man. Like this, this dude got. Damn, this. I never even thought about that, bro. <laughs> so he's like, this man got this going, on, and he, I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. He got a lot of things going on, I, I, and I'm struggling out here. I, I ain't not. I'm, you know, what I'm saying we coming from the same hood and everything. We, we, we do music together, but I ain't blowing up like he. I'm not blowing up like him. And I mean, even to add to that, which is not initially what I was asking, but. <laughs> what Cowboy said was Nip didn't uh, become a Rolling Sixties crip till he was about uh, seventeen or eighteen years old. Which shitty cuz, even just imagine this, shitty cuz Eric but, Holder, the, the, uh, the assassin, he could have been claiming the hood since he was twelve years old. We don't know that. So he's what? been he's been putting in work, whether it be selling drugs or hurting people, doing whatever, you know. He's been game banging possibly since he was 12 years old, and Nip just got put on the hood and got them like seven years ago. You know what I'm saying? So he does especially will feel more salty about that. What up, uh, daydreaming? I, I actually not nah, cause um, uh, cause me, me and me and Nip's about the same age. So the whole but, point was, dude, but I'm, yeah, but, but he was 12. But you, yeah, yeah, but 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 I'm saying like um, but honestly, you know, 16, 17, you, that's when you about to join the gang anyway. You know what I'm saying? Even though some people join it slightly younger, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I know people that join, you know, later in life too. So you know what I'm saying? I know people, I know people that decide to be 23 want to join the gang. So it is what it is. So it it ain't. That's yeah. I, I just don't. I just don't understand. I don't understand the logic of joining the gang later in life because it's it's not, it's not. You know, it's like damn. You why pick so long to join something? You you clearly stayed away from it and you, out of harm's way. You want to be put in harm's way. That's just that's just uh, that's. You know, I ain't trying to knock it. I ain't trying to knock. it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I ain't knocking it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. I'm just saying like. Actually, you would think you would have done this, you know, early in life, so you don't have to put yourself more in harm's way. So you could be done. Like, imagine that, and you're 23. Now you're either listening to niggas that's way younger than you, taking instructions and getting guidance from niggas that's not even all the way done through puberty, or you're hanging out with fucking 60-year-olds, or whatever the case may be. The initial question was, do you think... Uh, I don't even ask you that, but what do you think about the guy Cowboy giving a statement on the stand saying that um, Eric Holder and Nipsey Hussle didn't have 
uh, they didn't exchange words that would lead him to want to murder him. Is what I was initially asking. You. Me, because I'm, 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 you know, I'm older in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm. For the people that don't know, I'm, I'm 34, about to be 35. You know, in a couple months, October 29th to be exact, I'll be 35 October 29th. So I'm a little older now. You know, this, you know, I kind of leave left a little street life behind me. So, and. What I'm saying now, as a 34-year-old, I think he did the right thing, you know, just by clearing up the air of what the situation, like, I don't know why this man decided to pull the trigger. I, you know what I'm saying? I can't, you know, the why this man want this man did. You know, that you know that takes, you know, guts and courage, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it, that could have led to consequences. Well, his says, but let's stay, you know, catch, stay on the same. By getting on the stand and saying that. Just by getting on the stand and telling the truth. So, <clears throat> but, you, what you consider? Go ahead. Okay, but my younger, my younger self, motherfucker, why you even had motherfucking shoot him? Why, you know what I'm saying? My younger self, why you even have motherfucking shoot him? Why you didn't put a gun out on dude and, and blah, blah, blah? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You should have you handled that differently. That's what a Mike Younger self would have said. Like, damn, you should have just shot that motherfucker. I was thinking, <laughs> no, no, no. I was thinking, like, you just sat there. He was like, I was at arm's length of, of the conversation. I was sweeping up. I was just pretending to do something so I could make sure I could hear what was being said. And I'm like, you heard this nigga say, yeah, my nigga, like, I don't, somebody said that somebody with your name snitched, and I don't know what happened. When that when that came out his mouth, I would have been like, as soon as bro left, I would have been like, we need to go. We, we, we need, need to break the world real quick. You said, I don't know if you snitched or not, but you send me the paperwork, and then we can get in the studio as soon as possible. I know you just got out the joint. Nah, nigga, we need to go. And his girlfriend just wanted to take a picture with you. This nigga's gonna come back and kill it. I would have just, I would have thought that because, and not even, I'm not saying, if I would have, if I would have took the most hated and ass nigga that I've ever thought in my life, that nigga would have killed that nigga too. If you said, I don't know if you snitched or not, go home and get the paperwork and we can do a song together and I'll make you a millionaire. Niggas, I'm not thinking about the, and I'll make you a millionaire part if you didn't snitch, if you could prove to me you didn't snitch. Bro, niggas aren't thinking about that part. Niggas are thinking about, nigga, you just told me that I might be a, I have to prove to you I'm not a snitch. And you just you just fucked a bit. You just had sex with Lil Wayne's baby mama last night, and I think I'm a better rapper than you. And I just went to prison, and I killed more niggas than you. And I've been gaming ever since I was 12 years old. And you just got on this set fucking 10 years ago. I've been doing this shit for 20 years, and we're the same age. Of course, a jealous ass nigga's gonna do some shit like that. So I've never really. I don't recall being in a situation like that, but why didn't you protect them? Like, it's like the people who get called to protect the bag just don't do it, bro. Dude, that like I like I said, it's it's, it's really just jealousy, and I, and I don't get jealousy because no, no, no. wait, we already understand that we're talking about the cowboy who. Man, like I said, if hold on, if Cowboy is affiliated with any organization, he's he old, need to get blinked like fifty. He's like sixty years old. He's older than my mom. He's like our parents' age, bro. He, I don't care. You, 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 you know the street code. You should get blinked. You should, you should not be. You should not be on Earth right now. You should be in heaven or hell, baby. You should be in heaven or hell. So if 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 y'all run the roller sisters, y'all need to do, figure that out amongst yourselves. No, <laughs> Don't no, try no, to bleak no. me I'm up. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the the guy who killed Nip. 
His name's not Cowboy. That nigga's name is Eric. His name's Shitty. Cowboy is the homeboy who testified on the stand saying, "Yeah, I'm, uh, and, I, and, 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 I, and I'm and I'm saying as the I'm I'm saying I'm saying like going back to street rules, right? Why is this man in jail instead of in instead of six feet deep? I understand y'all killed his, you know, some people kill his family or whatever, what the case may be, but that man." That man that actually killed Nancy Hubbard shouldn't be alive. And I he went into hiding, went into hiding for um, what was it, three days? He turned himself into a mental health institution. Sure. The next day, his brother killed himself. They killed his cousin, and they killed his little sister. Yeah, as they should. The same, like within two days. And then as they should. Of killing his family, he turns himself into prison, into jail. As, as, as they should. And, and he, and honestly, he he should he should, honestly he should have he should have been a bold move and just hey, let me just go ahead and kill myself real quick before these motherfuckers kill me. He is. Um, I don't know why he wouldn't do that. He's probably a faith based person. He's probably. A, He's probably a believer, so he can't kill himself. He can't. But I'm saying, you, you better, you better show your face around so somebody else can kill you. Cause I'd rather die than have my, than have one of my sisters killed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, I got, I got four sisters. I got four sisters. And you, you, you know, already, get, you already know, I got a host of. Brothers and cousins. I got a host of them, brothers and cousins. I don't want none of them to die. Especially on some bullshit I did. Come on now. Go, go ahead and bleak me up real quick, cuz. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm being honest. That's that's just me. I don't know. People ain't brave enough like that because y'all, you know, y'all because some people are just bitch mad like that. They they be fearing death. <laughs> they be in the streets all day. Killing other motherfuckers, but when it's like they turn to almost die, they they get scared like little bitches. For sure. We got uh two more topics. Really, oh, yeah, um Ali, I don't really want to speak on that last topic because it's stupid and I don't really give a fuck. Oh yeah, what's what the what's got? the last topic? R. Kelly. R. Kelly. No, we got <laughs> We got three things. Oh about my this god! I, I I can't even defend our Kelly, bro. We mm. I'm not defending our. Nah, okay. So <laughs> number one, they're saying that R. Kelly has a baby on the way. They're saying that the appeal for R. Kelly uh, in his first trial that he just got what well, he got thirty years. They're saying that the defense is pretty strong for this uh for this last trial. And they're also saying that, uh, well, he he didn't go to Chicago, he didn't go to Chicago for his next one to get sentenced for his state case in Illinois. But R. Kelly has a little he has a little baby Kells on the way, and they, t- <laughs> like, they could, yeah, his uh he he got engaged while he was in prison. He got engaged while he was in prison to one. Hold on, hold on. How does how, how does how does how does being engaged work when you technically legally still married? But that's that's okay. That's cool. You can get engaged when you're married, but because he's not married, and you know one of the the person he's engaged, his fiance is one of his victims. I know, claim to be one of his victims, or whatever the case may be. But I want to know how you a victim and you said I do. <laughs> That, that's that's mind blowing to me. That's kind of mind blowing. So they're using that to uh, they're using that to try to get him an appeal, and then as uh, they should. everybody as go they to YouTube should. and and, and uh, subscribe to Sharon Winbrush's uh, one of his lawyers, Sharon Winbrush, his her YouTube, because and, they're and, using and, the uncut footage of surviving R. Kelly because she's saying that they edited a lot of the footage um and she has the original version she has one of the victim's dads 
um, testimonies before it. He even got uh, sentenced and all of that. She said it's going to be, she's claiming it's going to be pretty easy to get him this appeal because they have some good lawyers and things like that. Because uh, the subscribe, I mean, the uh, the follow yeah, because even the, the, hold on, the crazy dollars. part, even, even, even though, even though I know we know he's guilty, you know what I'm saying? I like his um, music, his music, his music, the shit, but we ain't discussing the man's music because music and talent and actually crimes is not on the same page. Who do you think? Throw that out there, but but yeah, and it's a song, I admit it. Don't have your daughter come up stage, then, cause your agenda is so you can get paid. You know what I'm saying? He put that in the song, and I that admit it. Then get pissed off when shit don't turn your way. He's talking about that same father that you're talking about, and and yes, the the father, the father put his daughter on stage, introduced his daughter to R. Kelly, pretty much pimping his daughter out. You can't pimp your own daughter out, then get mad at the man because he protecting your daughter's pussy and then not get pay, and then pay you. He he paid your daughter and she didn't break bread with you. He he paid your daughter she didn't break bread and you mad. Well, that's <laughs> not documented. That's not even legal. <laughs> So you you mad because she because she enjoyed she enjoyed the um pie piper she enjoyed the pie piper and you didn't get paid. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a minor we were talking about at the time. Hold on, hold on. First of all, hold on. First of all, the 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 the, 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 the um, person I'm talking about is not a minor. That, that, She's not at the time. Yeah. She was uh, she was no. She was nineteen. She was nineteen at the time. She wasn't a minor. That that weird dude from Chicago. That man keeps making videos and shit. That old ass nigga. Yeah, like, like the um, the it is. It's another. It's another part. The it's nigga another. That was on the Tasha K show. That no, nah, his daughter was sixteen at the time. No, no, no. We talking about two separate things. This, this. I'm talking about the father that's uh, had the daughter that was nineteen when she met R. Kelly. When she met R. Kelly, she was nineteen. That nigga who was. Supposed to fly out here and get the bitch out the uh the, the mansion and shit. That's a whole yeah. That's a whole different movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that's that's, a, that's way different. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I apologize. I thought you were talking. Yeah, we, about, we uh, all we, we all two different things, bro. <laughs> see, <laughs> that's, R. Kelly, that's, see, you, you making but, shit harder. The crazy thing, the crazy thing where R. Kelly is, he got, he got so many, he got so many real and unreal victims. It's hard to tell them apart. Exactly. <laughs> brother, what's the other nigga? Was that brother? Yeah, that was brother. Polite, weird ass. Did you hear about that shit? What? What's what's going on? Brother, well, brother, polite. This is like six months ago, probably, bro. Probably a year and some change ago. This bitch, uh, she left her teenage daughter with brother polite at a party, and then she, this nigga drove her teenage daughter to a hotel. They did we don't know what. And when she came back, this bitch, ha excuse me, this uh, her daughter had dried genetics on her face. And I was just like, what? For, what hold on, first. <laughs> on her hold face on. and her dress. <laughs> first of all, how she, how she know it was dry that. genetics? How did she, maybe her face was just dry for being dehydrated for drinking all night. Like, it so serious. It was dry, dry yeah. peanut butter on her face and her dress. And I'm like, I'm thinking like, how? Why would she just? Why would she just be walking around with just evidence on her face and her dress? That doesn't even like, make sense. People clean up after that. People clean up. So I'm thinking. And this, this nigga didn't say shit, and he brought her back. He didn't say it. No, I wanted to drop her off at one of her little friends' house. And why did you leave this nigga with your 
daughter at a party for this long. Right. Why would gonna... you leave your teenage daughter alone with any stranger? You don't know these people, man. Stranger. Because he was messing with the mom, apparently. Even That's though you mess with the mom, you don't. Hold on. How? How? Did, did she feel comfortable? She knew this man long enough where she can. Like, she was saying like four to six months, I believe, but he never met the daughter. Oh, you, you can't, you can't, see, that's, you party. can't, so this is the first encounter. You don't leave a strange man with your daughter. If your daughter haven't met the man, you don't do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I live with, a, I live with a chick. I live with a chick and her daughter for, for eight to nine months, almost a whole year. Before me and this kid actually spent a a long time with each other, and I'm, you know, what I'm saying I'm paying the bills, you know, laying here. I read the child, you know, books and and stuff. Watch movies with the with the child and everything. You know what I'm saying before she go to bed. This, like, no, don't leave. You go somewhere because I don't know what. Yeah. So so you so this is leave out the room. Take this motherfucker with you. Right, so, so, so I'm like, so it was, and it just happened, it just happened to be like one of the worst snow days in Ohio, and, I, and I'm, st and it was just me and the kid stuck, I didn't go to work, <laughs> Rosa Bay, I didn't go to work, and it's just me and this child, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, your mom was already at work, <laughs> she, she, she gonna be home, she gonna be home in a minute, she's like, I like spending time with you, you fun. Yeah, I know I'm fine. I'm 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 like a little kid myself. We're gonna play in this tent. We're gonna we're gonna build some blocks. We're gonna watch Lego. We're gonna watch these Lego Batman movies. We we're gonna watch Power Rangers. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I just, <laughs> no, bro. she tried to leave me alone, and I was like, I'm going in the back. I'm gonna be in the backyard. You got my number. If anything happens, leave the door open. I don't know. Yeah, when she then then when the then, any fucking potential you see. Then my, my girl come home. Why the house a mess? It's like it's like kids was here. Like, yeah, a big kid and a little kid. We 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 play, we, we you know, we said we put the tent in the living room and, and everything. We we built a fort. <laughs> we did little kid shit, whatever she wanted to do. Cause that's how you am like, I want the kid to be entertained, not bored. What's the point of you have coming home to a clean house and a kid been agitated all day for not losing that energy? You know what I'm saying? Your kid's your kid's your kid like six, seven years old. Little child needs to run around. Right. Can't go outside to run around, it's too cold. Speaking <laughs> of running around, the last topic I didn't even want to talk about because it's kind of irritating because he's one of the guys. We got we got King Lil, I don't even like to call him King Lil J, but he changed his name to King Lil J, so out of respect to him, King Lil J got out and had one of the biggest first day outs careers in hip hop history. This nigga got out of jail and he every video he was doing, trending, millions of views. He had five videos trending on YouTube simultaneously. And for those who haven't graduated third grade, simultaneously means at the same time. But after him doing all of that, after him getting new subscribers and charging $100 to, uh, to review people's songs independently on his YouTube channel, after him making, you know, millions of dollars, I mean, I don't know, not dollars, millions of views, down there reinventing his career, resurrecting, resurrecting his uh, dead body. This nigga went to jail two months later again. And we still don't know if he's going to do two more years or seven more years. It's going to be either minimum two, maximum seven, because he got caught with another gun after doing millions of views with his, just his songs alone. He was on Say Cheese. He's done... Hold on, he got caught with what? He got caught with a pistol in the city of Chicago two months 
um, after being free for only two months, but he just did seven goddamn years. He just did seven years <clears throat> and got caught in, in, in less than 70 days, less than 90 days. And, it, and, and hopefully he can get found with, with nothing else, like no drugs or anything. Well, there's something um, there's something they just invented in Chicago, which is some bullshit. I don't know if you know who uh, Rico Reckless is. I heard of him. He's from the he's from the low end, but um, he moved to. I think he was from like. He was from JoJo World. He was from over there, like <clears throat> fifty. 50, 70, no, he was like 79th and Stewart. But before that, he was from High Park. He's one of the most. But at the end of the day, um, they made some new law called constructive, uh, constructive possession, which means you gave somebody else a gun to hold for you. Or, like, let's say, let's say if I had, um, let's say if I had one of my, one of the, uh, one of the little homies. I gave them a gun and it's mine, but they knew it was mine. But he went on the other block, way above, way over there. If they say we think that's his gun, they can charge that. They can charge that person with that, just because they think it's that person's gun. What? Yeah, they got another rapper named O3 Rito. They just sentenced him to 20 years because. Uh, his driver had two guns and a pound of methamphetamine. They gave him 20 years, and they gave his driver 20 years. It's called constructive uh, possession. Oh, no. What if, he didn't, what if he didn't know the driver had that shit on him? It's a new law. Shit. <laughs> Another reason to avoid Chicago Part 23. Because <laughs> I'll be damned. Because, I, I, you know, you, you, you know me. I hang out with people that don't, it's not a lot about it, a citizen sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they don't uh, uh, oblige by the law. So if I get caught hanging out with them, I don't get some time too? You could be on the phone with somebody that's 16 years old <clears throat> and they just came from your house and they say, where did you just come from? Well, I just came from over here. And they're like, oh, that dude's over there. Well, let's go over there. We think you gave him this gun because he never got caught with a gun before. I so he started hanging out with you. And they, it's called constructive constructive possession of a fire. No, they shouldn't do that. They shouldn't do that. They don't they, they trying to have too many innocent like people locked up. Exactly. They don't have too many so many innocent people locked up. They shouldn't do that. They yeah, get rid of was, that one. He was already on parole. He was supposed to do twenty, but he did seven. But everybody was saying the same thing. Like, nigga, you just got out of jail. You got five trending songs on the top five at one time. All these people want to interview you. You could do, you could sign a little paper like, hey, I'm gonna I wanna go to California. I wanna go to Texas. I wanna go to Georgia. I wanna um, do all these interviews so I can be out the city. Even you could you can do you can set up a schedule like that. To the point where, okay, you only have two, you have two years of parole and probation. And this is for all of the guys out there that are getting, if you're getting money, if you're having fame, if you happen to see this, you can set it up on your probation where you can be on a new flight every week. You can be on a new flight every week. You don't have to be in the city of Chicago. You don't have to be in L.A. You don't have to be in that city that you have probation and parole. You can sign a paper saying, okay, I'm supposed to be in New York from May 1st to May 17th. It's for work purposes. Okay, then after that, I'll come back to Illinois for a couple of days, but then I have to go to Miami. Okay, then I'll come back to Chicago for two days. Then I have to go to uh, New Orleans. It's an interview. I have another show. I got another this. I got another that. And you could stretch that out to the point where you don't actually have to reside. You don't have to be there. Because those police, they want to do something to you just like the people who you harmed. 
or people, you know what I mean? It's just to stay Angel out of the way. Whatever, uh, bro, it's chilling. But don't get caught up, because that was, that's easy. Some, st- like Illinois, their probation is pretty strict. I was on two probations. I was on probation in Lake County and Cook County simultaneously, which again, let's go back to that third ba- third grade vocabulary. Simultaneously means at the same time. But they allowed me to leave the state if I had a show, if I had, uh, you know, an interview, if I had to go to somebody's funeral, they will allow you to do that. Now, if you have a strict-ass probation officer, you have to pay them half the money that you owe them, and you have to do half the stipulations. But when you are, when you really communicate, like, look, I think my life is in danger. I really need to do this. I really don't want to go to jail. Just even me, just being a normal, just, just being somebody that was known, those police, they knew what they wanted out of me. And that I, the officer that. said, we, I, I need you to move out this motherfucking city. I'm going to make your life a living hell. You're either going to die or you're going to be a felon in the next three months. Guess what happened? I'm not dead. Them niggas, they, if they want you, they want you. Chicago police? Nah, bro. You know what about Chicago police, though? They, they're sicking, they sicking me, bro. The Chicago police fucking sicking me. They, like, I, I, don't, I don't like them. They hold, they hold the mean and everything, man. Like, they, they, they act like, they have like they they have like they the celebrity or something. You know what I'm saying? Shit, they are. Shit, they they have like they rent everything. Like, and it's crazy. I I I I know a lot of police officers. That's not you know not shots not shot um not shot style <laughs> police or anything. They just regular, you know, police officer from this little small town, this other big city, and they just. They just do their job and go home. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't trying to, you know they what I'm saying? Career out of it. Right. They just like I'm, I'm doing my job. I'm, I'm going, I'm going home every day. Even if they do make a career out of it, they still treat it like this. I'm still here from nine to five. I ain't, I ain't doing no extra work. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that's what. It, 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 hold on, hold on, not only that. Hold on, hold on. Lucky. Hold on. Not only that. Then the Chicago police have the have the nerve to want to want to bully the little the little guys of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? But won't, you you want to do nothing to big bad bully that's been game banging. You know what I'm saying? He got the you know you know who big bad bully is. You ain't gonna fuck with him. You ain't gonna fuck with him because you know he gonna bleak your ass up. You, you know he gonna then he gonna find out where your family live. He gonna bleak them up too. You ain't fucking with them. But you want to fuck with regular people, pussy. So that's what I think about Chicago police like that. Number pussy. Yeah, that's but at the end of the day, I mean, as far as staying out the way, that's the name of the game. <laughs> the name of the game is Chief Keith is still alive. Lil Dirk is still alive. A lot of people think that, uh, you know, people, I, I, I really, I'm not going to go too deep into this, but a lot of people think that it's these uh, gangbangers killing people. When it's uh, a lot of times, I'm not going to say some of the times, I'm not going to say all the times, I'm going to say a lot of times. It's no people that's in the street constantly that you think is doing these murders. Because just to give just to give the just to give um the L sevens, just to just to put this out there. A lot of things happen because people say they killed somebody but they didn't because nobody's claiming the bodies. Because nobody did it. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. nobody, because it's 
the thing about it is, what people don't understand, in Chicago, New York, Atlanta, when you kill somebody, it's not the 80s, it's not the 90s. Back then, if you kill somebody, it was okay for it to be, nobody knew what it, nobody knew who did it, because it was actual assassinations going on. It was, we don't want everybody to know who killed this person, because, it, because, it just, it does something different that nobody is claiming was shit. It's not social media back there. Now, if somebody killed somebody and nobody knew who did it, then it would be a random motherfucker who never killed anybody claiming that they did. You know what I mean? And the like, police just to say I caught a I caught a body. It's just that bragging race. I caught a body. Now it's other people saying, okay, who killed uh who killed little Tussie Row? Nigga, I killed that nigga, bro. Come do something about it. Okay, but if nobody knew who killed Lil Tootsie Roll in the 80s, then it would just be a mystery. And nobody would say, I killed Lil Tootsie Roll. I'm like, nigga, what, you was in the, I was with you. No, you didn't. People would stand up and say, no, he didn't kill Lil Tootsie Roll. Leave him alone. He was just on cocaine that day. And he was just, just saying it because he wanted to get some, some good little fork on a hustler pussy. He didn't kill Lil Tootsie Roll. We don't even know him like that. He just goes to school. But now, let's say hypothetically, it might be a police officer who killed Lil Tussie Roe. Because everybody wants to say they did it instead of keeping it quiet, keeping it in silence. The government's taking advantage of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, They're you making it so people are claiming bodies. You got to you got to do you got to claim the time too. You got to claim our jail time too. You want to claim our body? Got to claim the jail time. And then exactly, that's another thing. They, do, it might be, it might be a police officer. I'm not saying they do this. I'm just saying hypothetically. Shit, I know they do it in the wild. <laughs> they do. They might. They might. They might do some 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 foul shit. And nobody can claim it, but they're gonna wait on this goofy ass little third fourteen year old to say they did it when they know they didn't do it, perpetuate this violence, and then lock somebody up that had nothing to do with it when they know they just did that shit mm -hmm. because they already created that shit. But at the end of the day, I mean, the easiest way to avoid this is just to. Uh, Citizens. Stay off the internet. Don't say you killed little Tootsie. Little Tootsie Roll didn't do anything to you. Don't make any songs about the shit. If nobody knew who did it, nobody did it. If nobody says they did it, if we're in the age of clout and you didn't hear in the street that somebody did it, then nobody did it. You know what I mean? Hold on, but that's that's another thing. This 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 internet, this clout, it's a it's a deadly deadly two way sword. It's a deadly two way sword. And by saying that, especially especially if you do music, you rap about shooting something, doing whatever. Now, if your song remotely resemble a crime scene that might take place that you have never even heard of, you are gonna probably get charged for it. Bro, you wanna hear, you wanna see the stupidest the stupidest shit that I have seen all day today. Do you know who Six Hundred Breezy is? Six Hundred Breezy, he's um he's a he's a rapper. I don't wanna say he's super talented, but he's one of Drake's homeboys, Vlad T V. He does great interviews. I like his personality and all of that. But this nigga Vlad I have so many mixed feelings about Vlad. This nigga Vlad said, <clears throat> yeah, so there's a um, a rapper named Wooski put out um, some old tweets from 10 years ago with between him and Bond talking about some, yeah, um, I, I bet you that I'm going to live longer than you because all your homeboys getting, keep getting killed. This nigga 600 Breezy said, Baba Wooski post that. That nigga's already halfway dead. He got shot in the head 
and he never been to the right since. And ever since he got shot in the head, he hasn't put out a song ever since that. And he was like, wait a minute. So Booski got shot in the head? And he was like, this nigga, bro, this is the stupidest shit I ever heard in my fucking life. No. This nigga, 600 Breezy, put out a mixtape called 11 Guns, right? This nigga said, yeah, Wooski got shot in the head at a funeral. 11 guns. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, you stupid. <laughs> you stupid, bro. <laughs> that stupid, bro. You just said that. He was like, I don't got nothing to do with me. I was in prison at the time. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> 11 guns. You feel me? And I'm like, oh, you are. So you just snitched on your people then? Yep. Dumbass nigga. You, you snitched on the you snitched on the people that you had, did it? Stupid uh that nigga said he he ain't been right ever since. And that's the last song he ever put out. And he got shot at a funeral. Eleven guns. You know what you know what I noticed Stupid. about the prison and the outside world? When you affiliated, a lot of shit happens on the outside world that you gotta take here in prison. Hold on, hold on. And the vice versa. A lot of shit goes on in the inside world and those prison cells that you got to take out on the outside world. So yo, either way, your freedom in life is always in danger. In and out of box, behind bars. So choose your so choose your life choices correctly. I ain't <laughs> be affiliated, not being affiliated. The choice is yours, young people. And if you and if you if you're not in the gang, don't get in the gang. Don't sell drugs. Stay out the street life. Don't do none of that. But and if you're innocent and if you're in the street life, move correctly. If you're in the street life, move correctly. If you're in the street life and you're young, don't involve yourself. If you're if you think, I mean, like, okay, that's, the dinosaur game, that's what a lot of people, oh, you're talking about some old ass shit. That's some old, that's the game that you, that's the information you want. And now at the end of the day, you also do have to be able to think for yourself because a lot of people don't, don't they don't take technology into account when it comes to a lot of things. They don't take technology. They don't take, uh how to obtain longevity into account because somebody could tell you to go do some shit but they didn't have cameras on their block they didn't have a lot of things they didn't have they might be able to they might be able to give you some information but there are some things that are applicable which is when i knew how did I find out I was done with, uh, you know, certain activities? When I met somebody, uh, I don't even like thinking about this shit, but he was, um, I don't even want to say his gang, but he was in a game, and he was telling me that, you know, every couple of years, I have to initiate the youngins into doing some shit. And I said... How do you do that? You know, I was trying, he was my celly. He was an old ass dude. He was from Memphis, but he was, he's been up here, not up here. I was in Chicago at the time. Up there for like 20, 30 years. He was an older cat, obviously. He said, you know, I'm an older dude. I might get a car full of my young guys and I'll take them on a mission. It'll be a car full of guns and we just go, you know, handle that business, get busy. And if the police pull us over, man, I got a, I got a beard full of gray hair. I'm balding. I just look like an old granddad. I just look like an uncle. And if they pulled us over, I'm like, I just took my nephews to go to the movies. I'm not doing shit, officer. And I'm thinking in my head, bro, you're fucking 53 years old, and you're telling me that you just took these 14-year-olds to go kill some other 14-year-olds, and you participated in those activities you just 
you kill 14 year olds every two years just to show people why they should listen to you if you need something done and he was like I know it and it is what it is that's the name of the game if I want them to do something for me I gotta show them I'm willing to do it too and I was just looking I'm in jail at the time so I have to control I have to keep a certain composure I have to control myself and I'm just looking at this nigga like bro you are you're the worst of the worst man nigga you might as well <laughs> yes yes so you just you just kill teenagers every year? True. He, he you know who you remind me of? Anakin Skywalker off of Rip Branch of the Seth. Killing those You just roll you just roll around and kill Do you even <laughs> remember being fourteen? Like man, you just kill fourteen year olds every year? Like, damn, that's just that's cold. They just start they just starting to they just starting to get get they they just starting to get their little you know what I'm saying? We bring bowling shoes and we put all the guns in a bowling bag and I'm just like, nah, we officer, we just and then we just get away every time. I'm like, every time how long have you been doing this shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just killed me 14 year olds, but we just yeah, going bowling. We just came from the prime. <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought you said you just came from bowling. The, well, the prom was at the bowling alley, nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> Judge me. The prom was at the bowling alley. But then again, but then again, the bowling alley in Chicago be lit though. So you could th- they could throw a prom at the bowling alley for real though. Oh, man, for sure. Yeah, that was pretty dark. But um, it's true that, that was dark. That's one game banger. Like, not, especially my whole point was, don't if you're going to game, bang, don't start game banging in jail or prison because that's foolish. I knew somebody who started game. He was a blood when he was in Chicago, but he went to jail for doing some stupid shit. He was only going to go to prison for a year. This nigga flipped to Mo, and they had him do all kind of stupid shit. He thought he was going to do like. He thought the funny thing is it's not funny, but the funny thing is they sent they were going to sentence him. It was like a two to seven. They sentenced him to a year. The nigga did like six months in jail, not even prison. When he got out, you know how the moles are, bro. He was doing all kind of shit that he didn't necessarily agree with, and he had to eventually. Um, I could tell that that's not what he wanted to do, but people didn't respect it because you know, you, be, you were you he already stayed there for a minute. He already stayed in the city for a minute. You only became a mo because you thought you were going to go to the joint. You already you thought you were going to go to prison. That's not that's not honorable, bro. You want to get if you if. If somebody was going to get down or come home, as they say, you want to do it for the love and for the recognition or where you're from or something other than because you're scared yeah, of he's just, prison. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, fuck it, I'm blood. I'm, I'm, I'm me. I'm, I'm me, blood. motherfucker. I'm doing my time. I'm me. I can't control who I am. Y'all going to eat a, we're going to eat a, you know what I'm saying, going to sell one on one with each other, knock a motherfucker out, but. I'm I'm on here doing me, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my time. I ain't I ain't fucking with y'all shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't affiliated, you know. I'm, I'm affiliated, but I ain't you know what I'm saying? I ain't exactly. gonna be in prison affiliated. Exactly, bro. See, like bro, at the end, of like the I'm day, I'm a street affiliate, you know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't no prison affiliate, and that's the thing. People don't realize this. 